purge. The purge. The purge is here. We, now you remember what they were talking about that was going to happen starting January in Chicago, right? It looks like it's going to be the same thing with Ohio as well. Dayton, Ohio to be specific. Now it may seem like it's isolated and that it's only in Chicago or it's only happening in Ohio. This is something that they will implement everywhere. Things will happen on, on January 1st. The city will shut down. Our employees, including police, fire, EMS, sanitation, public works, and everybody else, water, will not get paid. Uh -huh. the same. There'll be no trash pickup. There'll be no snow removal. Any water or infrastructure emergencies will go unaddressed. And you all know how hard our water folks work. The airport will shut down. The Dayton Municipal Court, uh, court and Clerk Courts will close, preventing anyone in the county from posting bail, being released from jail, what? filing restraining or protection orders, or having their driving privileges reinstated. Damn. I see our Dayton Municipal Court, court is here, too. He'll be a victim of this. Uh, police, fire, and EMS services will not be available. This could and will result in serious injuries and deaths. Oh it's pointless and irresponsible. Wow. There's no time to waste. Damn. Dayton's mayor called today a dark day for the city. Residents and city employees now face the real possibility of losing every service they have. I'm James Brown. And Gabrielle and right now, this is because city commissioners failed to pass next year's budget last night. Without a budget, look at what the mayor says will happen January 1st. Dayton will not be able to pay city workers. That means no police on the streets, no firefighters to go to emergencies, no trash pickup, and no snow removal. And the Dayton International Airport would shut down and Dayton Municipal Court would close, meaning nobody could post bond and people could not get things like restraining orders. Now here is how the city got to this point. It said it worked on this budget for 11 months. And then last night, when commissioners were ready to vote on the plan, commissioners Daryl Fairchild and Shanice Turner Sloss did not vote. The budget mm. plan needed more to pass. It only had three. Now, other commissioners, they said they were blindsided by this. Mm. We have new service that's yeah, randomized right. outside and new plans being stranded. It's hard to believe there could be no new police, fire, or EMS. That's right, Gabby and James. Hard to think that you could be experiencing a fire. You call 911. There'd be nobody here at the city of Dayton Fire Station number 11 to help you out. The head of the local firefighter union said he had a positive conversation today with the city manager, but no word yet on when a budget will be approved. We all know what's going on. Budget problems. And they've never had this happen. This is the first time it's ever happened in history, right during the currency change. Right during the collapse of the system, we have to get prepared. Cause oh my gosh! All right. Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse five and it reads: Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world: the sword, famine, death, and destruction. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's for people here for a bear. Pretty much a response video to the video of the elder Manata Zakbar did from South Carolina. Um, the Lord will bring a purge, not man. The, look, the Lord is bringing the purge. Look, look, not man, okay? Once again, second, as you've seen the news clip, soon come, look, look, Babylon cannot be healed. All right, we're going to see if we can get that too. Babylon, a.k.a. America, the land of confusion, cannot be healed. All right, it's not going to bounce back. No matter what, once again, no matter how much money they pump into the economy, this place is done. The, a sinking ship. All right. We, we bring, we bring, starting off with the head apostles. We've been bringing out that term for a long time. The ship is sinking. What are you going to do? Are you, are you Israelites going to repent? Or are you going to um, constantly depend on um, yourself? You see, and your tactic skills and things of that nature, man. It's only one way out of this thing, man. And that's through Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see? And look, no other way. It ain't no plan B. It's only plan Yahweh Shai. Let's get this again. Look, look. No, it ain't going to be no water. It ain't going to be no fire truck. You saw it. Look, look. No medicines, no doctors, no fire trucks, no, no, no nothing. All right? No heat, no electricity, no help, no 911. But oh, yeah, everybody's, everybody's independent. Remember that now. Everybody's independent. They're free as a bird, right? Okay. 
Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. This is just a quick one, man. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. And it reads, bear, bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. One more time. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you even call Jesus, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, a lack of food, death, and destruction. The Lord is doing this, okay? And, and yeah, yes, the Lord using man. Let's get that right quick. Yes, the Lord is using man. He's using sleaze to eat. To bring forth chaos, destruction, mayhem, a whole lot of deletions. And the Lord got spirits created for vengeance, young. If your house catch on fire, you heard the man said, you better be able to put it out yourself. All right? If somebody invades your house, you better be able to protect yourself. It's going down, Israel. The Lord is bringing the purge, right? Not man. A response video. Just a quick one right quick. Let's get this. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, the king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord, all caps, the most high, Yahweh. And as there are rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So who's, who's really bringing the purge, man or the Lord? The Lord, man, the king's heart, who's controlling man's mind? It's, it's the Lord, you know what I'm saying, putting the spirit, you know what I'm saying, in those people to say, look, it ain't going to be no more fire trucks to put out your fire. You see, it ain't going to look, they, they ain't coming to pick your damn stinking ass garbage up no more, okay? Look, they're going to cut the water off, man. Where, where you going to shit at? Where you going to piss at? It's getting ready to go down, Israel. You have no clue of what's really coming, man. Fearful sights, everything, man. All the tall tale signs of this place are collapsing. You see? And never bouncing back ever again is written on the wall, man. But oh yeah, remember, you celebrated Christmas. Remember that now. You you won't think about the Lord now. You celebrated Christmas. You celebrated your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. And all this other nonsense. You twerked your ass off. You see, you got your BBLs. You, 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 you didn't want to take them long ass nails off, them eyelashes. And men, men it's going to hurt men too. But who is it going to hurt the most? The weaker vessel, that woman, man. You're really in for it, man. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. The Most High Yahweh. The Lord is bringing the purge, not man. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So when the Lord want, to, want this devil, you know what I'm saying, sleazy, you know what I'm saying, to cut that water off, he going to cut that water off, all right? The green, the Lord getting ready, to, getting ready to match the green light, man. It's green time. It's go time now, man. The Lord is doing it all, man. And the Lord said he's going he's gonna to bring evil. Let, let, let's just, just get this right quick. Let's just, just get it. The Lord is bringing the purge. Response video, Israel. You played around too long. But, but yeah, it's June, all right? It's June. Isaiah 45. Isaiah chapter 45. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, do all these things. And it's going to be in the midst of wars, chaos, man. It's getting ready to really go down, man. Look, but you trusted in a man that couldn't help you out at all. Look, look you, you didn't trust in the Lord. Remember, Israel, you didn't trust in the Lord. You trusted in Sleazy E and his system, man. A fallen system, a failing system. You put your trust in. So now the Lord got that purge coming now. Don't, look, don't get scared now. <clears throat> You, look, you got your Glock, you got your 45, you see? You got your technical um, procedures. You've been taking Taekwondo and all that. See if that helps you out. St. Matthew 24. This is just a quick hit. St. Matthew 24. We're going we're gonna to just jump right down. 21. For then shall be great tribulation. Such was not since the beginning of the world. To this time. No, nor ever shall be. The Lord says it's getting ready to get so bad it ain't never been recorded ever. How bad it's getting ready to get. You can take all the time. We, we go through this all the time through the spirit. You take all the different time periods, you know what I'm saying? Put them together and they won't compare to what's coming. Look, look, the, the dude said you're not going. They, they ain't, the fire truck ain't coming to put your house out if it's on fire. You see? The police say, yo, if you're in trouble, you're going to have to figure out a way to get that thug, you know what I'm saying, to get that criminal, that robber out of your house, man, all right? You're going to have to figure it all out, right? When, look, when it's time to get warm, you're going to have to figure out how to heat the crib up. You see, you're on your own now. You're going to have to find out how to get food. They're going to close down the grocery store. The Lord is doing all this, man, but he's working through man, right? 
And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect say, those days shall be shortened. And the Lord said, evils and only evils. Man, we would look, same old two-step. Let's get it again. Look, look, same old, it's not going to get better here, man. All right? Matter of fact, let's just get this, Jeremiah. Let's get Jeremiah 51 right quick. Y'all about to feel the indignation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? Is it 51? Jeremiah 51? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon, America, the land of confusion, have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That made all the earth drunken, drunken off what that wine, that for that philosophy, you see, that democracy and all that other nonsense, right? Then look, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. And see, now these other nations have drunk of that wine, right? Now their nations and their communities are destroyed. You see, and now they pissed off. They women twerking on poles and every damn thing. Look, you got these different heathen nations celebrating Christmas too. And Easter and all this other crap, man. So now they're mad now. The women want rights. You see, the women want to be naked as hell, walking up and down the streets. Uh, everything's out of order. So now the, now the nations are angry now, right? It says, that, it says they're mad. They're steaming mad. Babylon, a.k.a. America, suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her future prophecy? This ain't even happening yet. It's getting ready to happen. Take bomb for her pain. What is bomb? A healing agent, right? What's the bomb America trying to use to heal itself? The stimulus packages, pumping more money into the economy, things of that nature, right? If so be, she may be healed. By doing that, if it was possible, it would be healed, right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. See, the Lord said, I heal, I kill, I make alive, I wound. The Lord said, I'm not going to heal this place. So you can best believe your house is going to be on fire and you're going to have to put that bitch out. I hope you got enough water. All right. Somebody come up in your house. You 911 ain't going to work. You're going to have to get that bastard out your house. All right. You tough. You can do it. You got it. You need something to eat. The grocery stores are going to be closed down. Who's bringing the purge? The Lord is bringing the purge. Not man, all right? What, what, what else? But she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go, everyone, into his own country and the elites, you know what I'm saying? And the rich people of this land pretty much out of here, yo. The only people that really want to stay here is two-thirds of our people. They don't want to get to hell, even though the ship is sinking, right? For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, man. So this place is guaranteed to receive a real hardcore judgment, a reality check, man. A, re a reality check, man. That's what's coming for this place, man. And I want to get Isaiah. And, look, and the Lord said these things were going to happen before the foundations of the earth. Before the earth was even created, the Lord said these things were going to happen. Let's get this. The Lord is bringing a famine, a sore famine, man. And that famine is going to be something serious, Isaiah. For, and, you, and you people here in America, you ain't got no tactical skills. You don't know how to make a fire. You see, without a damn match. Or without a lighter, you don't know how to fish, you don't know how to hunt, you don't know how to do a damn thing but do a TikTok video and go to a restaurant and spend all your damn money. You don't know nothing about gutting an animal, letting it bleed out, you know what I'm saying? Then preparing a meal, you see, planting some crops, um, turning dirty water into clean water, you don't know a damn thing, man. You're going to wish you did, though, Isaiah 46. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 1. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. So who's bringing the purge? The Lord, man. He already declared the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand. What's the counsel of the Lord? These words. And the man is bringing it out, right? My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasures. Look, look, lunch break lesson. Lunch break lesson, Israel. The Lord's going to do whatever the hell he want to do. You, but you didn't know that, though, right? You Look, you didn't know that, though, right? Let's get this, though, Psalms. Let's, let's just get it. This is Psalms. What is it, 115? Psalms chapter 115. This is just a quick little lunch break lesson. Psalms chapter 115. Verse 3, and it reads, But our power is in the heavens, and he have done whatsoever he have. Please remember, we read, we read earlier, the Lord said, I'm bringing a famine. I'm bringing wars. I'm bringing... Man, you have no clue. You Israelites have no clue, Psalms 115 and 3. But, if, but our power 
Then I'm quoting another script. All kind of scripts are going through my head. But I, I got to make this kind of short because I'm on lunch break and it's almost over. But our power, Yahweh, is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he please. Meaning what? You can't stop it, Israel. Everything is coming down the pipeline. You can't stop it, right? Let's get, um, let's see. Let's get Jeremiah 11 and 11. I brought it out the other day. Let's bring it out again. Jeremiah chapter 11. Remember Israel, you wanted to, you want you wanted to play that rebellious game, right? You, you look, you, na 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 boo boo, stick your fingers in your ears. You wanted to play that game, right? It, look, it was all about you, right? Well, when you call nine one one, guess what? Nobody's not gonna answer. When you call for the fire truck, no one's gonna answer, right? When you go to the store, it ain't gonna be open, right? When you call for help and you need help, who are you gonna call? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? Because the Lord said, I'm not hearing you. Jeremiah eleven. And 11, it reads, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I will bring evil. I will bring evil, meaning bad times upon them. So who's bringing the purge? The Lord, which they shall not be able to escape. No one's going to be able to help you out now. It's too late now for the majority of you Israelites. It's too late now, man. And though they shall cry unto me when that stomach starts start touching that back and you got kids in the house, you see, the Lord said, I'm what? And though they shall cry unto me, I will now hearken, mean and listen unto them. Remember, Hosea 4 and 6, you rejected knowledge, right? And that woman that, just, that said we, we were stupid and all, and whatever she said to us Saturday, she's going to fall up under this category right here. She's going to be crying unto the Lord. And the Lord said, I will now hearken unto them. And the Lord told us, don't pray for you ninjas. Don't pray for these ninjas. Don't pray for these hyenas. Don't pray for these silver back gorillas. You, you saw you saw what I read in uh, St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, tribulation never seen before on the face of the earth. That's what you got to look forward to, Israel. That's what you got to look forward to, eating somebody, man. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, For the vision, meaning the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak, it's speaking loud and clear. The prophecies are jumping off the pages, right? And not lying. Though it tarry, though it seems like it's taking a long time, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Look, look, look. the prophecies are speaking loud and clear. What are you going to do, Israel? What, look, look, what are you going to do, Israel? As a matter of fact, let's get this. Let's get this right quick. It's going to get this. Zechariah chapter 14. Zechariah chapter 14. Verse, um, let's get this. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 13. And it reads, and it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. And his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. All out chaos. All out chaos. Look, 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 look. No city workers would get paid. No trash pickup, no snow uh, removal, no water. You see, airports shut down. You see, no police, no fire truck, no EMS. What are you people going to do? Especially you old people that's hooked up to ventilators and oxygen machines. What are you going to do when it ain't no power? You see? You 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 had that damn glazed ham, you know what I'm saying? That honey glazed ham for 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 fucking Christmas and all that. You won't think about the Lord. What are you gonna do when you can't get none of that diabetes medicine or you can't get nothing to um help fight off that damn gout? What are you gonna do, man? All right? Look, look, and then on top of that, somebody's trying to invade your house. What the hell are you Israelites gonna do, man? The, the Lord, the Lord tired of you. You see? Matter of fact, let's get let's go back to second Ezra. Let's go back to second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 15. This is, just, this is a quick matter. If I start at one again, I, I go back to one. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happen, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. You see? And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Let's jump on down. Let's jump on down. 14, second Ezra 15, 14, woe to the world, destruction to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands, and blickies, hammers, sticks. You know what I'm saying? Bong, bong, bongs. You know what I'm saying? All that in their hand, right? Race wars, class wars, civil wars, economic woes. This, look, look, the ship is sinking, all right? The house is on fire, Israel. 
for there should be sedition among men. You're going to have people exciting other people to go against the government, right? You see? Because people going to say, we want our water back on. We want food. We want heat. We're out here dying. We're starving. You see? And invading one another. Look, they're coming up in your crib. They're coming up in these different buildings. They shall not regard their kings nor prisons. Remain calm. Remain calm. Nobody's not trying to hear nothing. And the cause of their actions shall stand in the power. Now, what group? What, what's the only Israelite group that's telling you of these things? You see? You need other Israelite groups. They ain't, they ain't telling you nothing. You see? Only thing they're doing is having fun and doing rap battles and doing debates when this ship is sinking. You see, they the same people that was in that Titanic movie. They were still in there playing that piano when the damn water was flooding that shit. You know what I'm saying? They were still playing on violins. They were still trying to pass out food and the ship was sinking. You see? Great Millstone and the Phillies, we the only one starting off with the head apostles slash elder bitch, the Great Millstone. We the only one that's giving you privacy day in, day out, telling you, giving it to you like a T.I. is. You see? Like a, yeah, like a T.I. is. You heard me. You see? What it say? They, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go in, into a city and shall not be able. We go through this all the time. Martial law is going to eventually pop off, right? It says, um, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid, right? And men shall be afraid, right? Look, look, and look, and men shall be afraid, right? And men shall be afraid. How much more the weaker vessel, the woman, they don't need a man. Remember, every pretty much every woman over here in America says she didn't need a man. Well, hold that energy now. When it ain't no 911, when it ain't no EMS, when it ain't no fire truck, when it ain't no food, when it ain't no heat, when it ain't no trash man picking up that stinking ass trash, when your water, when your toilet is overflowing with shit, tissue, and fucking uh, tampons, you hold that energy. You hold that energy, right? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And for great tribulation, it's really getting ready to pop off. Who's bringing the purge? The Lord, not man. One more scripture. One, look, look, one more scripture. And I'm gone, Israel. Look, you have been warned. The Lord told us, give them warning from me. You see, matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get this. I ain't got this in a while. Second Ezra chapter seven. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse twenty, and it reads: For there be many that perish, meaning die in this life, because they have despised the law of Yahweh that is set before them. So a whole lot of you Israelites, you ninjas, you hyenas, you silver bag gorillas, you bats, you baboons. You know what I'm saying? You see, you monkeys, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of you chimpanzees, a whole lot of y'all got you zombies, you copper tops, you you look, y'all got to go, man. You see, the Lord said you're going to perish. You despise the words, then perish then, man. The Lord said, I set before you life and death. What you going to choose, Israel? The clock is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The clock is ticking, Israel. What, what, what you going to choose, man? Let's go here. This is my last one. I'm gone. My break is over. Second Ezra chapter 8. I just want to hit a quick point. Yeah, same old two-step, right? Second Ezra chapter um, 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Many miseries, a whole lot of miseries is coming upon you, Nedralites, man. The whole earth, but many of you Israelites, two-thirds, y'all got to receive your judgment, man. You see, you got to receive your judgment, man. All right? Oh, yeah. And, and look, can't forget this. The Internet is going to be shut down. And what the hell are you women going to do? You inter, you Internet sensations. What the hell are you going to do when it ain't no Internet, when it ain't no OnlyFans, when it ain't no TikTok? You know what I'm saying? All right. When it ain't no fake book, what are you going to do? You see? Babylon will not be healed, man. And I, and I do got one more and I close it out. I got one more. I got as many scriptures that I could bring up. I'm just hitting some points because I'm on break. Remember now, I said I'm on break now. You see? You, you see the sword coming? Look, a prudent man for see if they even hide from himself. Should I bring that out first? Let's just bring that out first. And the Lord's making everything happen, man. All right? Proverbs 22. Is it 22 and 3? Yep. 
Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. And it reads, A prudent man, me and a wise man, foreseeth the evil, meaning these bad times, and hideth himself where? Within the comfort of meaning this word, right? But the simple, and that's the majority of you Israelites, but the simple, and you people upon the face of the earth, but the simple passed on and are punished. You see? And are punished. So let's go back. Let's get this last one. Let's get this last one and I'm gone. The Lord said, you see a sword coming upon the land? You're supposed to warn the people. You Israelite prophets out there, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, you're just not warning Israel about what's coming. It's about to pop off and the Lord got a purge coming. What are you going to do? You're going to get caught up in the purge, you false prophets, man. And you Israelite man to stop teaching his word, even though you knew it. Uh, I, I know I don't go out as, out as much as I used to, but um, um, it, it, it's too late for all that, man. Ezekiel 3. Let's bring out this last one and I'm gone. Ezekiel chapter 3. And it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. You see? And look, look, that, that's exactly what we do. The Lord will bring a purge, not man. Shalom. Problem. 